Hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So I'm going to be continuing with the timed event. It wants me to return to the Hut of Blessings, which is right up there. But before that, I just wanted to point out that it has been uh, quite a bit of time since I last played. As you can see, it has 22 days and 18 hours left remaining on this timed event. Part of the reason why is because I have been sick for quite a bit of that time. So I'm just now starting to get a little bit better. I'm still sick, but, uh, you know, I'm feeling well enough to actually record now. So my aim is to get as much of this done in this video and hopefully in the following videos as well, because I don't want to miss out on anything in this time event. Let's go ahead and collect that stuff very fast. Uh, so let's go ahead up here to where that is. Well, since we've taken care of most of the tasks, all we need to do now is reopen the tavern. But we still don't know how to use the magic of this world. We don't even know why the tavern closed in the first place. <sighs> oh, what about the method that one hamster mentioned? You should try it, Nilu. You mean the creation magic his grandfather saw outside the hut of blessings? Hmm, I wonder. How exactly did the goddess of creation give them life? Uh, with the ink, right? Maybe you don't need to understand it. Just give it a try. Everyone here calls you the forest fairy. Maybe you have the magic powers already and you just don't know it. Yeah, I'm thinking the magic tonic is actually what brings them to life spe specifically. Based on what I remember. Now, it's been a little while, so uh, some of this stuff is a little bit fuzzy in my head. Especially since, you know, being sick and all. In other words... This forest is a stage, and all I need to do is step out into the spotlight? <laughs> Sounds just like a fairy tale. Well, we are surrounded by talking origami animals and magic potions after all. Almost seems like anything's possible in this place. Hmm. You're right, Paimon. We won't know anything unless we try. In that case, let's see. Nilu takes a page from a book and folds it into the shape this of a hamster. This is how you do it, right? I think I got the folds right. I think that's what it said. Uh, actually, I can review that, can I? Yeah, it folds into a shape of a hamster. Oh, your origami skills are great! I once saw one of our prop people making something similar. It looked really cool. So I took some time during my break to learn the basics. It's not a bad way to stave off sleepiness either. And it looks exactly like the hamsters from this place. Well, how do you feel? Sense any, uh, magical powers flowing through you? Mm, no. No? Mm, what are we missing? Are, aren't you supposed to say some magic words? Okay. Magic words? But how am I supposed to know what the goddess said to bring them to life? It doesn't matter what she said. Focus on what you want to say. Oh, good point! You're the forest fairy, Nilu. What do you want to say to the new resident of your domain? Mm -hmm. Nilu picks up the hamster and kisses it gently on the forehead. I bestow upon you the blessings of the forest and offer you a home in this land. Your name shall be Harisara. May you bloom in this world as beautifully as the flower I love. Is this actually going to work? <sighs> oh, it seems to have. My name is... Arisara. It worked. Wow. Actually... Well, peel Whoops. my shell and call me a nut. <laughs> I never imagined I'd witness such a miracle at my age. <laughs> it's just like what the story said about the goddess of creation. Shell? Miracle? Nice to meet you, Padisara. I'm Nilu, the fairy of this forest. From this day forward, this place is now your home. Well then. Hello, fairy Nilu. I hope you'll grow up happily in this forest. Grow up. <laughs> oh, you can leave the little one with old Armand for now. Wait. Oh, uh, this sure brings back memories. <laughs> It's been such a long time since we last held a welcome ceremony. Can it actually get bigger, though? Or is it stuck at that size forever? Here, Padishara. Mm. Uh, come to Grandpa Armand. 
Well, now that Milu has mastered the goddess's magic, we should be able to reopen the tavern, right? Hmm. Grandpa Almond, could you send a few people to check the underground space beneath the tavern? Oh, there's an underground space. Oh, of course. Uh, may I ask why? The moment I used magic, I sensed something strange down there. I have a feeling it's connected to why the tavern had to close down. Uh, of course. Look into it right away. I hope there isn't like some big massive area underneath because the place that we have to explore are, is already pretty big, so... Make sure you listen to Grandpa Omen, Potty Sara. Don't go running off on your own. Potty Sara. Listen. Running! <laughs> hey, come back here, you! Wait! He just stood there and watched as it ran before going, Hey, come back here! Yep, that's Milo's creation, all right! She's got so much energy. She. Anyway, how did you manage it, Milo? I didn't realize that it was a she, okay? Well, all I did was say my wishes for her out loud. Maybe the magic is in the words themselves. Just like the book said. This place is seeming more like a fairy tale by the second. I mean, or some are called the Forest of Blessings, so it kind of makes sense. Well, anyway, Paimon thinks this magic suits you perfectly, Milu. What about the space under the tavern? What had you so concerned? When I brought Potty Sara to life just now, I was able to sense the magic flowing through the forest, in the flowers and trees and inside the creatures that live here. But for some reason, there's a hollowed out space beneath the tavern where I couldn't sense anything at all. Huh. We're back, my lady. That was fast. That was fast. Good grief, Paimon. Stop reading my mind. You were right. There was something under the tavern that I've never seen before. It looks transparent and gave off a clinking sound when I knocked on it. Transparent and... Thinking. Oh, I've got it! Uh, already? <laughs> You've got to use fairy tale logic, Paimon. Is it an ink bottle? That's right. An empty ink bottle, to be exact. Still remember the taste of the magic tonic you took a sip of, Paimon? Yeah, it was ink. <gasps> oh, Paimon gets it now! Traveler, Paimon. Will you come gather some ingredients with me? I learned what we need to make the magic tonic back in the Hut of Blessings. It has to do with those things that I've been collecting around. Those blue things. I think they're called Lake Light, li Lake Light Lilies, but I could be wrong. I haven't been paying attention to what they're called. Sure thing! What do we need to get? Hmm. A setting sun that never sets. A dragon that cannot fly. And... A moon that only shines at night. Never mind then. I have no idea what those are. I... Where are we supposed to find crazy things like that? She means Sunsetia, Snapdragons, and Nilo Palo Lotuses. Okay. What? How did you get that so fast? Fairy tale logic, Paimon. I mean, sure, whatever. Logic, huh? <laughs> Lucky guess, more like. Yeah, I agree. So we are controlling Nilu here. And where we gotta go? Oh, just down here. Okay. So you got snapdragons. And lake light lilies, which are not part of it, but I'll still collect those anyways. Uh, oh, it's Sunsetia. Look, the moon's been stolen. What are they talking about, the moon's been stolen? Uh, let's get rid of these things very fast. I just realized I can use Nilu to to fight, so why not? Whoa! Well, that felt kind of interesting. That should be everything, right? What should we do now? Huh. Hmm. Let's go back to the hut of blessings. Okay. So they're gonna keep saying that because they were saying the moon's been stolen, but now. Yeah, thank you, Miss Fairy. Okay. So they were complaining about the monsters being around that. That makes sense. Give me just a second. I'm gonna go fetch an ink bottle from the other room. Okay. Paimon doesn't get it. All the ingredients are super tasty, but somehow the final product turns into ink. 
There might be another ingredient. Well, anyway, Paimon's not going anywhere near this stuff this time. Not even if you bribed her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's see. According to the book, first you do this, then this, and then... Cool. It's done! And there we go. Wow! Magic sure makes everything super convenient! So what's gonna happen next? Uh, where does he want me to go? Oh, he wants me to talk to Grandpa Almond. Or give it to him. Huh. Yes, this is it. This is exactly the magic tonic we need. Grandpa Almond, could you take the concoction to the room underneath the tavern and place it next to the transparent bottle you found? I'll handle the rest. Of course. As you command, so it shall be done. <sighs> I nice. still get nervous at times like this. It's just like when you step on stage and you can tell that every single person's gaze is fixed right on you. Relax, Nilu. We're right here with you. And I've got a cough. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, you two. I can't tell you how great it is to have you by my side. Almost makes me feel like I've been blessed by the goddess of fate, too. Let's go. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Okay. So where are we going now? Uh, down there. There's Almond and Potty Rasa. Let's talk to them. I place the bottle where you requested. Uh, the rest is up to you, my lady. Okay. <sighs> Did I call it Potty Rasa or Potty Sara? I, I, I'm not sure which it was called, actually. Forest. Please heed my words and accept my blessings. May your spring of wondrous magic never run dry. And may all who call you their home lead happy, fulfilling lives. I just noticed that there are squirrels there that are completely grayed out. But their tails are kind of moving, so they're probably still alive. Ooh, special cutscene. I like how colorful it is. And the music to go along with it too. I like it. Fairy Nilu is amazing. Mm-hmm. And it's Potty Sara. Wow. It's so pretty. What a beautiful cavern. It matches the scenery of the forest perfectly. I was so surprised when it suddenly opened up like that. Just like a pop-up book. Well, I didn't think about it that way. <sighs> I, I remember now. I remember everything. It was me. I was the one who went to the top of Constellation Metropole and witnessed the goddess's prophecy. Huh. The hero who shall save this world will descend upon the cliff of prophecy. The hero. Supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. So the prophecy really did have all the answers, you just forgot the first half. That's why I was waiting near the cliff of prophecy. <laughs> wonderful, simply wonderful. There's still some hope left for old Armand after all. Is the cliff of prophecy that place with the huge mural? Because that is where we woke up, but we don't remember anything about how we got there. Wait. Also, we didn't get a change of clothes like Nilu. Are we definitely the heroes? I don't remember a huge mural. Hmm. I may have to go back and look at that. If not you, then who else? 
Well, you, you've already helped the fairy revitalize our forest. To us, that makes you heroes. Prophesized or not. All right. By the way, we're going to keep adventuring, even if it's just to figure out how we can get back to our world. We can also help resolve any crisis, crises along the way. Or we can also help resolve your dragon problem along the way. I'll select the top one since the dragon one will definitely fall under that anyways. Yep, that's exactly right! Helping people we meet on the road is kind of our thing. Yeah, unfortunately, Paimon usually drags us into things that we don't want to be involved in, too. As expected, the words of the goddess of prophecy always come true. I'll come with you. It can't hurt to have a magical fairy tag along, right? Thought you'd never ask. It would be our honor, my lady. Heroes and fairies, dragons and new adventures. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like a fairy tale by the second. Hmm. I would say your next stop should be Constellation Metropole. It's Simi Lanka's most prosperous city, uh, just across the sea. Huh. Once you've arrived at the Astral Garden at the highest point in the city, uh, maybe you can try seeking divine counsel from the Goddess of Prophecy herself. Are you leaving, Fairy Nilu? I'm afraid so. Wait a second. There are still other people who need my help. I won't go far, though, and I'll come back to visit the minute I have time to spare. Is the Goddess of Prophecy going to be Mona? I, I'm not sure if she's part of this time to vent or not, but... So be a good girl, huh. Pomisara, and help out Grandpa Alma whenever you can, alright? Mm-hmm. Got it! Patty Sara will wait here for you. <laughs> oh, that's a good girl, Patty Sara. I almost forgot. If Constellation Metropole is where you're heading, you'll need to take the Maritime Express. I'll head to the station first thing tomorrow morning and wake up that lazy station master for you. Uh, why don't you take a break for the rest of the day? You should savor the beautiful scenery of the forest before you go. Okay. That's great! Paimon definitely feels tired after being on the go for so long. There's a spot in the tavern with Paimon's name on it. Oh, sounds like someone's ready to order. Oh, well, if you're offering. Paimon Take a glass of Buell fruit tonic? Um, but hold the tonic. <laughs> and the first part of the story begins in rain without uh forest without rain. I think that's what it said. Yeah. Uh has been completed. So that's cool. So we're supposed to wait until the morning next day. Let's do that very fast. Morning. Guess everything that happened yesterday wasn't just a dream then. Well, it's time for our next fairy tale adventure. We should head to the station Grandpa Almond told us about. Okay, we can do that. Uh, but before I do that, I'm thinking I'm going to focus on some of this other side activity stuff. So let's go ahead and cl collect this very fast. Uh, we need 125 to do something. Is it? Oh, it's a new outfit for Kirara there, I think. And I don't even know if I have Kirara, but, huh, Navia, Kirara, and I see, uh, Eon in the background there. That's what I call them in, you know, my game. Uh, you know, the Wanderer, the Balladeer, whatever you want to call them. Anyways, Mosaic of Moments is probably what I'm going to start with, as far as the side stuff is concerned. Boreal Flurry. In the Forest of Blessings lives a particularly passionate fly flying squirrel. So let's go over there and talk to Clanch. Uh, wherever Clanch may be, all the way up there. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of a run. I don't want to accidentally run into the uh, story quest, though. So let me see this very fast. Where's that at? Right over there. So it's kind of in you know, out of the way. So I'm going to collect any uh, treasure chests I see along the way. Of course, you know, complete some side activities. That right there might actually be one. Oh, wait. There's... Oh, it's right down there. One of those uh, things, but... I hear the princess is looking for a guardian. 
Okay. And I don't see anything I can actually do there, though. What's this? Oh, that looked like a treasure chest from the side. There's a lot of, uh, little details that are added here, though. The flying squirrels of the Kingdom of Breezes and Bells are adept flyers. Get close and use the interact button to work together with them and direct them through the garlands. Huh. Hold the attack button while in joint cooperation will... Or holding the attack button, rather. Uh, will display the, the flight path. Release the attack button and the flying squirrel will attempt to pass through the garland along the path you indicated. The flying squirrel will immediately turn back after reaching the end of its flight path. They will only stop in midair and await your use of the attack button to summon them back after they hit the flower balls. Well, this sounds like it's going to be very, very weird. I'm not sure how to feel about this, but we will see after I grab... Where is it? Oh, right up there. Uh, you know what? It's been a while since I've had to do this with Venti. There we go. Okay, guys. Uh, let's do this. Uh, wait. Okay. So, I need to do it like this. That's weird. Doesn't seem right. Why does it look like it's... I don't know. There's something wrong about that. Yeah, definitely something wrong. Oh, am I supposed to stand right here? Maybe? Yeah, right here. Okay, because this is kind of acting like, uh, like that. You know, what you're supposed to go for. Huh. Oh. Interesting. And then, if you time it just right... Okay. Am I supposed to be up here, maybe? Yeah, I was supposed to be right there. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Again? Really? Okay, good. I forgot that those flower things uh, require you to, uh, you know, stand somewhere for them to come back, you know, for the squirrel to come back. Flowers that have curled up uh, curled in on themselves for a nice nap. They will awaken and open after being hit by the flying squirrel impacts, character attacks, and other shocks. Having been so rudely awakened, they will show their immense displeasure by creating a current that can move garlands. Okay. Oh, is there another one of those? Really now? Be faster? I was not expecting there to be another one. Okay, you, let's do this again. Uh, whoops. There we go. I've just got to get that one flower in the back there. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Then down. Cool. So, you, uh, I thought it said that you could hit these flowers and they would do something for you. Weird. I don't know. Uh, how far away am I from the other? Not too far away now. I see another one of those excerpts of bliss. Right over here. Thank you very much, game. Uh, is there anything else around here before I continue on to the quest? I don't think so. Ah, two more brave warriors step up to the plate. Are you here to play Boreal Flurry? Come then, right this way. I'm looking forward to witnessing your unmatched powers of flight. Whoa, cool. Or, whoa, cool it, rather. Uh, one needs to keep cool to fly, dear guest. Not at all. A cool head will merely... Or, did he say... Wait a second, what did he say there? One needn't keep cool to, uh, to fly. Okay. A cool head will merely dull your sense of the wind. Only one who faces the wild wind, utterly unprepared, may uncover their true potential. Flying squirrels nowadays are far too timid. They've utterly forgotten the lessons taught by the brave northerly wind. 
they stand in safe spots and declaiming the courage of leaves that dance in the wind, yet are far too frightened to leap into its embrace themselves. How can we protect the kingdom alongside her highness if things keep going this way? Ludicrous! Ludicrous, I say! Man, this flying squirrel sure is the energetic type. Looks like he really loves flying. And that's why I found myself a passage with especially intense wind currents and set up all sorts of devices inside it. Only the bravest and boldest, or the boldest and the most bellicose in flight shall best its course. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Do you have the required courage, dear guests? I'll have a right go at it. Excellent. Follow me then. The passage is not far from here. So am I going to be doing the flying or am I going to be controlling the squirrels doing the flying? That's the real question. Okay, so we've got to earn up to 1,500 points. Uh, but is there nothing else? Is it just a series of challenges like this or... Huh. Oh, there's a little teleporter right here. I didn't even notice that before. But, uh, we've got to go all the way up there, so that's what we will do. And there is a challenge here, so let's go ahead and start this. Hopefully it doesn't lead us too far away from where we want to go. Because I do want to activate that, uh, teleporter, but... There's a treasure chest right down below. Oh, whoops. Um... I am missing some orbs down there, and I've got a cough. Oh boy. <coughs> I apologize. As I said, sick. Uh, what's this for? Oh. Calm down, there's no rush. What? I think the timer was running out that whole time. I could be wrong. I wasn't really paying attention to the timer. I was more focused on the, uh... The thing and what it was doing. Certainly worth the extra mile. Okay. So what are you about? What happened? Her berries were stolen. We have to help her. Okay. Come with me to the cave. Careful now. Do we have to really slowly follow these guys? Okay, I guess so. Oh, stop. There's someone strange up ahead. Slide the uh, sidle over to the side quietly. Uh, I guess I'll take care of him very fast. <laughs> So many enemies, could I ask you to help me? Yeah, sure, why not? Easy enough. So let's first start by doing that. Get the enemy all mad at me. Get rid of uh, the big guy there. Thank you for chasing those villains away. I wonder if I had to actually slowly walk like that. Please return the berries to that sad river by the fellow. Oh, wait, the fellow by the river. I was about to say sad fellow, uh, river by the fellow. Anyways, there's nothing in those boxes, which is very weird. Anything else in here? Not from what I can tell. Back to that guy. That kind soul helped help us out. So let's go ahead and place those. Very, very nice. And they helped me with this. Which I very much appreciate. Because I was wondering how I was going to get back up. Uh, okay, good. So, we're supposed to continue in this general direction. There is... Oh. Uh, hello. Interesting. Uh, there is one of those things all the way over there... I will get that in a second. I, I definitely want to go in here, though. Are you here to take the trials as well? 
probably eventually, but not necessarily right now. And, and well, assuming that it's a side quest that I'm seeing in this area. Certainly worth the extra mile. This is a gift for for our guests. You heard the princess. Please take it. Okay. Go ahead and activate this. Now that I've activated that, let's grab... Where is it? I see it on the map. Is it up above? It might be up above on that thing. Yeah, it's right up there. Let's grab that very fast. There's the uh, side quest that I don't want to get. Just yet. Oh. No! Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to fall. I hope it will not return. It's probably talking about the dragon, right? It's probably afraid of the dragon returning or whatever eventually. So, the thing that I saw before was over here. Actually, there's more than one thing. There's one right down here. And it looks like there might be something going on with that flower thing over there. But, uh, let's get that on top of the roof before I worry about anything like that. And I just saw that treasure chest down there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, I thought I saw another one of the, uh, the excerpts of Bliss or whatever. Watch, the watch posts have collapsed. What's it talking about? I don't know. I, I want to move on to the, the timed event. It's all the way up there. Although, there is a treasure chest right here. So, it makes sense to grab it since I'm already right there. In the Boreal Flurry game mode, you will have to move and shoot various targets to score points. Locked on targets will be marked out, and if you crash directly into targets, a certain amount of points will be deducted. Shooting will consume energy, and energy recovers gradually, so take care to control your shots. Uh, in this game mode, you can use different... Uh, two different buttons to use two different firing modes. Speedy shots. When held, you can fire continuously. Charge shots. After charging by holding for some time, release to, uh, to unleash. Fortified floater uh, targets can only be destroyed by these shots. Okay. Slime supreme targets can take many hits, and they will change after each time they are hit, making them difficult foes indeed. Use speedy shots to deal with them effectively. Okay. But before that, let's go ahead and grab this. Um. There we go. Start the challenge. This looks like it's going to be fun. Uh, but they did not tell me what buttons to press. Uh, for actually firing. I figured it out by spamming, but... Okay. How do you charge, though? Oh, that's how you charge. Okay. So they said something about fortified, the fortified floaters, which must be those blue things. Okay, cool. Uh, oh yeah, I better make sure that I always have a uh, charge ready for those. Even though it doesn't take very long to charge. What is this reminding me of right now? It's reminding me of something. Like, just from the way it looks, not necessarily from the way it controls. Anyways, it's cool, though. I wish that we could fly around like this normally. Oh. I oughta... Come on. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't letting me actually charge. Uh, oh. Interesting. It, like, blasts through multiples, so... In a sense, it's actually a good idea to, uh... Have that ready. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Okay, I get it. You're supposed to shoot those things multiple times to get rid of them. And I managed to get what I needed to get, right? Uh, the gold. Let me go ahead and select select stage very fast. 
claim the prizes. Very good, but... Oh, there are three stages. For some reason, I didn't see that. It's at the bottom. Well, I say bottom, but, you know, it's down below. Anyways, earn 2,500 points for this next one. Earn 3,000 points for that. Uh, so, I cannot actually unlock this yet, right? Like, yeah, I need to actually continue the story to unlock the next part of that. Very interesting. So first of all, let's claim some stuff. Uh, I can claim this right here, which is nice. Uh, what else can I claim? Oh, I've just never checked this before, have I? Yeah, I haven't ever checked that before. When the t that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. So if I select that, yeah, it's just telling me that I need to do the next part, which is over here of the story. Um, where did I end up? Right over here. Okay. So that is what I'm going to be doing in the next video, is uh, continuing the story. Uh, claim that very fast. Cool. And, uh, yeah, it's not too far from where I'm currently located. Maybe I can make some wishes, though, before I stop. Because I did get a ton of Prima Gems. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of wishes on Nilu's. I got another copy of Kabe. So that's cool. Uh, and let's make the remaining wishes on Navia's. Unfortunately, it was just weapons. That's fine. So anyways, yeah, thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I'm going to be continuing the story for this time event. Uh, and I might also do another one of the side activities too. Uh, in particular, the figurine fabrication is probably the one that I'll be doing in the next one or as much of it as I can do. Uh, so yeah, thanks again, see you next time, and bye bye